the last part of section 12.4 deals with tangential and normal components of acceleration. Theorem 12.5 gives you the definition for or the formulas used to determine the tangential normal components of acceleration. Suppose we have r of t, which is a vector valued function for a smooth curve, and the tangential normal components of acceleration are as follows. A with a subscript t, that's your tangential normal tangential component of acceleration, is the derivative of the magnitude of the velocity vector valued function in terms of t. It's also the dot product of the acceleration vector valued function with the unit tangent vector. And remember the dot product is a scalar. So when you're finding these tangential normal components of acceleration, they are going to be scalars. They're not going to be vectors anymore. Now there are a few different formulas for finding the normal component of acceleration as well. It's found by the finding the magnitude of your velocity and the magnitude of the derivative of the unit tangent vector. That's also found by taking the dot product of the acceleration with the principal unit normal vector. And there are a few other formulas for those as well. In this example, we're going to find the tangential and normal components of acceleration for the position vector given by r of t equals 3ti minus tj plus t squared k. The solution is found by finding the velocity, speed, and acceleration path of the vector valued function. Velocity, the v of t, is equal to the r prime of t equals 3i minus j plus 2tk. And the derivative of 3t is 3, the derivative of minus t is a negative 1, and the derivative of t squared is 2t. So that, that is your velocity vector valued function. The magnitude of the velocity vector valued function is equal to the square root of 9 plus 1 plus 4t squared. And you square each of the components of your velocity vector valued function, add them together, then take the square root. This can be simplified to the square root of the quantity 10 plus 4t squared. Our acceleration vector valued function is the second derivative of your position vector valued function, our double prime of t, which is equal to 2k. By using the theorem and the formulas, we find that the tangential component of acceleration is the dot product with v and a divided by the magnitude of v. And that can be simplified to the 4t divided by the square root of the quantity 10 plus 4t squared. And to find the normal component of acceleration, you can use the formula that is the magnitude of the cross product of the velocity with the acceleration. And the cross product of those would be negative 2i minus 6j. The normal component of acceleration is found by taking the magnitude of the cross product and dividing by the magnitude of the velocity vector valued function. So that can be simplified to 2 square root of 10 divided by the square root of the quantity 10 plus 4t squared. That's a normal component of acceleration. So we have our formulas for the, both the tangential and normal components of acceleration. We can, we can substitute in the given time to get the scalar values, the, the single number values, which would be those components.